really have learned a lot about just the, the type of kids we have here at James River and uh, how we can best mesh that, mesh that with the type of ball we're playing on the field. Uh, we got kids who really love the game, good kids, work their tail off, and it, it fits into the uh, mindset of what we're trying to do offensively and defensively, and they can feel this group really buying into what we're trying to do, and uh, I, I'm excited about what we have coming for, going forward this year. I do feel that with this being the fourth year and these freshmen having coming up through the program of everything that we have been doing at James River, that people are really starting to understand the expectations and the buy-in is at the highest it's been since my first year here. And so us as a coaching staff, we're really excited about the group that we have and what their, their buy-in and what they're trying to accomplish this season. I think those guys having success their freshman year on the JV level, but also seeing that senior class, their freshman year have the success that they had. They've been asking each year, what's been different, coach? What's been different? Why have we not repeated the success from your first year? And we're able to give them examples and use examples of players that they know and they've seen be successful at the varsity level. And they're, they're just hungry. They're, they're hungry for answers. Hey coach, what do we need to do? How can we do this better? How can we be like that first group? How can we make this our own? And we coach them up and they're very coachable. They take those things and they apply it in practice. They've applied it in our scrimmages and I'm, I'm excited to see what they do this year. I believe last year was a great uh, teaching tool for us. We were young. Uh, we've suffered. We lost our probably three or four. We lost our best two DBs. We lost our best two receivers before we even played a snap last year. We lost a couple of linemen. We ended up starting a lot of sophomores and freshmen uh, towards the end of the year. And so finishing the year strong, I think, built a lot of confidence for our guys. But I also think we learned how to respond to adversity. I think that's what killed us early in the year last year was We'd be in games against really good football teams and then we'd fall apart down the stretch. Uh, we learned how to overcome that following the bye week. We won four down the stretch. And I think our, our young men carried that through this off season and it's really prepared us for what we're gonna face this year. We have two really good quarterbacks. One is senior Briggs Baraboo. Uh, he came in and he actually uh, made the two game winning passes for us against Midlothian at the end of the game. And then a freshman Dylan Froley, who's very talented as well. Uh, and, you know, it's, if you, it's tough to find one. It's tough to find one at the high school level, and we're excited that we have two and uh, have a lot of confidence in both of them. Briggs has shown it last year when he had to step in and was able to do the things he did when he had to play. And then Dylan last year as, a, as an eighth grader starting for us the whole year on JV was really impressive. So we're excited about both guys and think they're both going to do really good things for us. Our mantra all year throughout the offseason, really dating back to the end of last season, is, is dig or keep digging. It's an acronym that stands for things that we teach in our program. D for do your job, I for integrity, and G for being a go-getter. And this, this mindset that no matter what's going on, you got to keep digging. And, you, uh, and if you keep digging, eventually you're going to strike gold. And you know, last year we saw that at the beginning of the year, we weren't finding that gold, but we kept digging, kept digging. and then. Finally, we struck gold, won four down the stretch. So we just know this year that we're going to face tough times at the beginning of the year. We're going to get punched in the mouth. We're probably going to give up big plays at times. We're probably going to get stopped on offense at times. But if we keep digging, we'll eventually strike that goal. The successful season at James River this year is going to see our guys go out and compete and I, I think surprise some people. I, we don't want to define it as far as a certain number of wins or a playoff appearance. We're in Region 5C, which is extremely tough, 17 teams. It's, it's difficult to get in there, but you know, if we're competitive all year and we're making noise to be in that playoff hunt down the stretch, then I think we'll have had a really good year.